Good afternoon. I'm Brent Wilsey. With me is Chase Wilsey. We're from Wilsey Asset Management. And welcome to today's Smart Investing Daily Briefing. Today we're talking about inflation from 1975 to 2015. You might say, what, what does that have to do with anything? Well, we talk about real returns because you've got to have a return above inflation. And also, too, you might say, oh my gosh, that's so long. That's not going to happen to me. Well, if you're 40 now, in 40 years, you're going to be 80. We have a lot of people now living to 80, 85. So this does affect not just the 20 and 25 year olds, but people in the 35 to 45 range as well. Let's talk about things. So let's go back to 1975 and look at this. A new car back then was $3,800. Now the average car, 31,252, 822% more. Look at just the, the cost of bread, just buying bread to eat, 28 cents back then. Now $1.43, an increase of 500. And 11% on the price of bread. You know, I think this just really shows how important it is to still invest in retirement. A lot of times people get to retirement and they say, okay, I'm done, I made it. And again, I, I know this is not the you know most likely scenario, but if you retire at 65, there is still a chance you could live 40 years to 105. So inflation can have a major impact on your portfolio. Not to get too off track yes. here, but let's take a look at the new homes. In uh, 1975, they're worth $48,000. Today, $270,000 increase of 560% and talking about making that real return, the return above inflation, the S&P 500 was at 73, it is now at 2,150, an increase of 2,960%. That is a real return right there. Yes, and yeah. a good place to find a real and return. Nothing performs better than this here. The, the thing is people get too short-sighted and sell too quick as opposed to looking at the long term as opposed to one year. Look at 5, 10, 15, 20 years. Best long-term investment. Again, it shows this time and time again. I do want to point out too, this is for uh, nationwide, not just California. So people say, oh, California can buy a house for 270. <laughs> These are nice nationwide numbers, by the way. Um, so today we're looking at a company that again is a food company because not like bread, but this is chicken. So we thought to get, take a look at the Tyson Foods, current price 73.50, the high 74.86, the low 39.05. Again, going back to 2012, you see it was way down to under $20 a share. Come up quite a bit to about 74. Let's see if it's still a buy now or not. Uh, they do uh, Jimmy Dean sausages, Hillshire Farms, Ballpark Frank, some great brand names you may recognize. Uh, unfortunately, last year the sales are down 4.2 percent, but earnings up 44.3 percent. So looking good on the earnings. Yeah, the balance sheet looks good at the start. As you see, current ratio 1.89, debt to equity about 65 percent. Now this is the problem. I wanted to buy this company actually back in early 2015 when they're having problems with the bird flu. But the thing that held us back no tangible book value so unfortunately we didn't buy the company uh, getting the target sell price though going out to september 2017 estimated earnings per share on a gap basis are four dollars and 56 cents giving say target sell price a 75 dollars and 24 cents so about right at that 52 week high current price area right and the reason why i didn't buy because if you don't understand what's going on with it we couldn't get a value of what the real value was of these intangible assets we decided not to buy it even though it was a good buy, we look pretty good. If you don't understand something, we won't buy it. You shouldn't either. I'd rather have this happen than buy something like, oop, went down, we should have done that. So, well, uh, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Smart Investing Daily Briefing. If you'd like to get the report on the five big mistakes investors uh, receive, it is free. Uh, give us a call at the office. Our phone number is 858-546-4306. And if you've missed any previous Smart Investing Daily Briefings, go to our website smartinvesting2000.com.